and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the airdrops um, add-on. This is a very simple add-on um, from what I know. Basically you kill mobs, you get... Sometimes they drop these remotes, you place down the remotes and then the airdrops come. And it's, it has some unique items in it. And um, yeah, so we'll take a look at it when this is loaded. Taking a bit longer to do than usual. There we go. Oh, the Spock. Yeah, so uh, Medkit, Magnet, Co Sap. A sap, a parachute, XP sword, wind, the wand, gravity wand, jet pack, fuel cannon, night vision goggles, wholesome chest plate, rapid leggings, and boots of wind. Uh, some airdrop containers uh, obtained from dangerous mobs. All you have to do is use a radio. So. Uh, Let's go down here, and it'll probably, if I go down far enough, there'll probably be some hostile mobs somewhere. Keep going down. I lit this area pool really well, apparently. Oh. What is a magma cube doing all the way down here? Well, that did drop a remote, it dropped a level 1 radio. I believe there's three levels of radio. I have no idea how the magma cube got all the way down here. But maybe. I spawned in for a review or something, and then it just made its way all the way down here. Oh! Got... Got two level 2 remotes there. Yeah, I didn't get anything from the bio. This is not a hostile mob. I have a skeleton somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. I think it'll be down here because I'm not seeing any torches. Nope, there's a zombie there. And a skeleton. I picked up another level 1 remote. So, okay, that lava is not flowing even though it should be. Uh, it would be cool if the book told you like what to, um, mobs dropped what radio. So these are uh, level one radios are dropped by zombies, creepers, and skeletons. Level twos are dropped like by like uh, Enderman and uh, I don't know. What am I? Um, wither skeletons and blazers and piglins. Uh, level three is dropped like by like I don't know shulkers, the war or something. I don't know. I'm probably gonna kill a bunch of each mob later on and uh, to see which what one they drop, so we can have a look at that. Uh, I believe I have a teleport to whom? Yep, there we go. I'm just going to dump this in there. And just leave them to despawn. Alright, let's start off with the level 1 radios. See what we get from these. 
So just right click here. Also, there's still a couple of holes here and there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it comes down and then it shoots a bunch of gas in the sky. You punch it and you get random stuff. Also, finally, there's a block, isn't it? Oh, you did it drop a trident. That's cool. Yeah, Impaling 5, Channeling 1, Loyalty 5. Okay, that's a really good trident. That's just from a level 1. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. If this didn't have loyalty, uh, I would I would chuck it into a uh, into a trident killer. Yeah, tridents are cool. Also, a second wonder in the trader spawn. Boom. One eighty five fifty nine. You could probably just look in the sky and see. Oh, there it is. Punch. Just got a petrol can or fuel can. Uh, oh, there it is. And it landed on top of the logs. Because, of course, it did. Punch. More med kits and another fuel tank. Alright, let's take a look at the level 2 ones then. Uh, I'll just like. Boom. Oh, there it is. If you're doing this, you probably do want a like, large flat area. Oh! We, I got the magnet. Uh, let me eat some carrots and we'll see what the magnet does. Uh, magnet uh, tracks items that are in a 7 block radius to play a when held in hand. Left hand is also allowed. So I think that means off hand. So if I stick this in my off hand. And uh, yeah, it's being dragged towards me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that... The magnet is a decent item, like, if you don't like the rings that you can pick stuff up at it, but it might be a bit annoying if you're trying to throw away some rubbish and then it just gets pulled straight back to you. Alright, we're... Oh, it's right there. Boom. Ooh, so this time we got a bow with plane 10, power 10. So, boom! Oh. How much damage does that do? 22 damage. We also got a parachute. Which, let's see what the parachute can do. It slows the user's fall when held in their hand. So if I just TP at P wiggle wiggle 100 wiggle. Oh yeah, I have slow fall on my yeah. Uh, let's get another 100 blocks all pray for that to wear off. Yeah, man, there we go. Now we're falling. And I hold this. Yep. Yeah. And I took no damage. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to game mode 1. So, up on. Let's see, pig, ocelot, mushroom, llama, horse, donkey, mule, dolphin. Oh, wait, yeah, I think all the mobs are in the, at the end here. Like so. We've not seen what creepers drop. We've not seen endermen. They're going to be annoying because they like to teleport around. Uh, haven't seen what silverfish drop. We didn't see which I killed the skeleton earlier, but we didn't see what it dropped. Uh, river skeleton, stray, slime, spider. Uh, we saw that zombies drop level one. Zombie pigman. 
boss. Drowned. Squid. Wait, no, squid and hostile. Yeah. Low squid. Cave spider. Witch. Guardians. And Elder Guardian? Yeah, Elder Guardian. Next up will be Endermite. So he spawn creeper, kill creeper. Didn't drop anything. Or any remotes. Same, just gunpowder. Now that one dropped a creeper head. Oh no. Right, let's spawn a bunch of them. And then just you murderize them all. Let me get rid of these. I don't need them. Oh, there we go. They drop level 1 radios. Oh. We have a chance to drop level 2. So I guess it's not... Ah, so what I think might be happening is that each one has a chance of dropping level... Uh, dropping them. So, like, creepers have a higher chance of dropping level 2s. And then like a zombie or something. Again, it's a bit hard to tell because the add-on's not really helping. Because it doesn't tell me exactly what how it works. Oh, that one dropped a red one, which was a level 3, I think. We moved. What is it called? Radio. Yeah, that one one of them dropped a level 3 radio. So what I think is gonna is going on is that um yeah each one just has a higher have different chance of dropping higher remotes so oh not that saw the magnet there for a second while I reloaded right step yep yeah back here that enderman dropped a level 2 remote, so yeah, I think it's just like, the harder the mob, the higher chance it is to give you a higher level remote, so, which makes me killing a bunch of them not really uh, super useful, because it's just like, oh, I could just be lucky and gain more than the average, which means, yeah, uh, you just have to kill... So, it probably is, like, something similar to what I stated earlier, like, zombies, skeletons, and, uh, uh you know, uh, spiders probably have, like, a higher chance to drop level 1s with a slight chance to drop level 2s, and, like, um, you know, cre creepers, endermen, and, like, blazers, and, like, wither skeletons and zombie pig piglins, so they have, uh, like, a higher chance to drop level 2s. Uh, level 1s, and f uh, but with a chan slight chance of dropping a level 3. And then, like, and, and like you know, later, like, shulkers and other, and, like, wardens, maybe. Well, let's kill a ward. Let me kill some wardens and see if wardens drop any ward. Warden. Uh, nah. How did he drop the air essences? I don't think that was special. He dropped a level two. I was expecting it to be at least level. Yeah, level 3, so he has a chance to drop. He has a red chance to drop in 2s and 3s. Oh, no, there's a level 1. I have no, like, I I have no idea. I'd have to, like, get in contact with the uh, creator of the add-on and find out from them how, exactly how it works. But if, uh, but by the looks of it, it is just random. So what it probably is, it's just like, ah. Oh, um, 
X percent chance to uh, drop a a radio, and then each radio has X percent chance of being dropped. Now I don't know if it's like if they are if it's like a one in three for any specific radio or anything like that, but it's that's what it seems like to me from the looks of it. Yeah, let's place a few of these down and see what we get. So let's try let's start get some level threes in here. If I'm in creative, does this still get used up? Yeah, it does. Level three. So I'm just gonna go and survival real quick. Might as well. Level two, level two. Level two. And level one, level one, level one. And now for scavenger hunt. We've got uh, Boots of Wind. Oh, that destroyed the block below it. I guess that's a bug that can happen. Another Impaling fi 5, Channeling 1, Loyalty 5, char Trident. Also, they have a highlight around them. So, like, this is a red one. Red highlight. Yeah. Well, that one gave me never right Boots with Protection 15. And another bow of Fame 10, Power 10. This one gave me a Diamond Axe with Fortune 10 and Efficiency 10. A level 1 radio. And I think I also got a level 2 radio from one of them. Another magnet. This one gave me a Cosap. And these two are level ones. Now, yep. we made a hole. Oh, damn it. It'll give me an iron axe with fortune five, efficiency five. Nice. So, I guess you could get um, OP like iron boots, I guess. As well. And that one just made a hole in my floor. Oh no, there we go. Give me diamond leggings with protection 5. Two diamond leggings with protection 5. A level 1 radio. An iron pickaxe with fortune 5, efficiency 5. And a diamond pickaxe with silk touch 1 and efficiency 5. Uh, one there, one there. I wonder if you can actually enchant these, because I'm pretty sure... If you try to enchant these OP items, then it's going to lose your OP enchantments, I guess. And that one's still falling. Yeah, bonk. That one, you move. So yeah, the level 1 ones aren't very good, but level 2 and level 3, you can get some really good stuff out of them. But uh, let's take a look at the so new items I got out of the them were these two. Let's take a look at these two in the book. Where's the book? There's the book. So we got the curse of com combination of shovel, axe, and pickaxe, a multi tool that breaks blocks, and that the component tools are allowed to. There's a curse up. It's apparently it breaks. It's a pickaxe, yep. Pickaxe, shovel. Yep. And an axe. I don't. You move one. And an axe. Let's go find the wood. Yep, it is indeed those things I said it was. It's pretty decently fast. I say like as fast as like unenchanted diamond.
Uh, question is, can you enchant it? So let me just quickly go down here. Grab an enchanted book. With every enchantment on it. And yet, it can be enchanted with unbreaking, fortune, mending, efficiency, and probably also symptoms if it can be enchanted with. Uh, nah, but if I go, like, mend. Let's go mending book real quick. And I want to go into game mode zero. So if I wanted to take, say, this diamond pickaxe with silk touch and efficiency five. Well, actually, efficiency five isn't. Uh, out to the other knee. Uh, Fortune 5 then, Iron Pickaxe. I wanted to slap Mending on it. Yeah, no, it keeps the... Not, uh, Fortune 5 enchantment, which is more... Which it normally can only get up to Fortune 3. So, yeah. You can enchant these, uh, uh the, uh, that. Turn, like, the Protection 15 boots and Protection 5 diamond leggings. Like, unbreaking, mending, and then anything else you want on them as well. I guess. Which is good because it would make them a bit useless if you couldn't. Um, well, not useless, but a bit. Yeah, anyway. Uh, boots of Wind. What does the Boots of Wind do? Also, we did get the Med Companion. Yeah, fully heals almost instantly and gives resistance to set when used. Uh, Wind Boots. Boots of Wind gives the ability to jump up to five blocks when worn. So that's three blocks. Oh, yeah, he's. Yeah, it just gives you jump boost. Five, so yeah, that. That goes quite high. Uh, just do a quick test, because why not? Can it be chanted? Also, I should probably empty my inventory. Of all this. Uh, also, the fuel can, uh, I believe that's just for the jetpack. There are these boots. Can they be enchanted? Yep, they can be enchanted with all the boot uh, boot enchantments. This is going to get some uh, the magnets messing with my item uh, thing. There we go. Play in there. All right, let's take a look at all the other items in this. I'll unpack that we've not that this other packs so, uh, we've seen the med kit magnet cosa and parachute we want the XP sword drops XP per hit to hit XP per each hit dealt with this item so XP and there's a bunch of stuff it's at the bottom here it is XP sword does plus five attack damage the thing is, as much as an iron sword, no stone sword. It does as much attack damage as a stone sword. Can it be enchanted? It can be to do eleven attack damage, which is like a sharp, little bit one damage better than a sharpness three diamond sword. Let's go. Uh, oh, we can just hit you. I have strength. This is my armor. Wait for that to wear off. Two, one. There we, there we go. Yeah, dropped a little bit of XP. From the ground. Yeah, honestly, not too bad if you can get. I don't know what um, level you can, you, know, you can get, but if you're in like level one, that would be cool. 
Uh, it also doesn't say which one you what you know what you can get in which ones. Uh, there's the gravity wand. Grab it. Gravity wand. Uh, let's see. Let's find something to use. So, hello over there. Huh? Nothing. Am I too close? Yeah, there we go. You right click, you pick a mob up. And you right click to put them back down. Now, it would be cool, really cool, if I could left click and launch them up like the gravity gun. This isn't bad either. Pretty cool. Don't know how they managed to achieve this, but it is cool. It keeps up pretty well. We. Oh, what happens if I just... Nah, I just... No, my momentum doesn't carry, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, neat item, but would be cool if you could just launch mobs into oblivion like the gravity gun can. But yeah, let's move on to the next item then. Uh, the jetpack, when worn, it lets the user fly when they are looking upward, needs fuel to use. Jet. I'm in survival, aren't I? Yeah, why am I in survival? Yeah, jetpack. Shoes give a pee. <laughs> So here's a jetpack, you right click to put it on and it replaces your uh, chest plate. And right now there's no fuel in it. Uh, what do you, so we have the fuel cans here, do I just right click? Yeah, there we go. One fuel can that fills it fully. Uh, you go up to go up, look up to go up, and then you can just sort of fly. It's all right, I guess. It's not the worst flight I've seen. The more fun it has better and worse flight, depending on the mobs. Some mobs are better at flying than other mobs. Like the Ender Dragon is the best flying mob because you know it's the easiest, uh, most difficult mob to get. But yeah, not the worst flight ever I've seen in the add-on. Uh, it is a bit difficult if you just like want to walk around because you have to keep looking at the floor. Or you could just put your armor back on, I guess. I might as well see if it can be enchanted real quick. Just out of curiosity. Jetpack enchanted bucket can with unbreaking free and mending one. That's the jetpack and we showed off what the fuel can can do. I'll put those away as well. What's up next? Uh, so we got jetpack, fuel can, night vision goggles gives night vision and one. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, you're not really going to notice any difference because my arm already gave me night vision. Yeah, it gives you night vision uh, uh, 2 for some reason for 15 seconds. And yep, yeah, it's night vision. Now, uh, this would be good. This will be good like if you can get in like level 1 or 2 maybe. Uh, for like dive mining, if you go in, if you do dive mining, then you have to, if you have night vision, you don't have to worry about putting down torches and missing. And then you, yeah. So, it does have a use, but not super useful. Again, let's see if it can be enchanted. So that's usually the, the test I do for, um, that I've started doing for like pretty much any. Uh, yeah, it can be enchanted with Aqua Affinity, Thorns, Respiration, Protection, Unbreaking, and Mending.
So I can just put that in there. Uh, there's the wholesome chest plate. Gives an extra 10 hearts when worn. Oh. Wholesome chest plate. Let's go into survival so we can see this. Yep. Gives in the second wave of elf bars. Actually, how much armor does this provide? Four armor bars. I'm pretty sure that's as good as diamond. So this is probably like a higher um, level, like a level three drop or just really drop. I don't exactly how they work because you know the add-on doesn't really tell you. But yeah, it's a uh, there is a cool chest plate. Can it be enchanted? That in there with the book. Yep, yeah. protection. Uh, Fallen's free, protection for all, or breaking and mending. Uh, there's the rapid leggings. Give small speed when worn. And that's the last one. Rapid. Uh, quickly first, let's turn this be enchanted. Yep. Now if I go up here. Put it on, gives you... Speed, with speed, oh wait, speed's at the top. Uh, speed 4. Yep, yeah, pretty fast. Now... I want to double check, so yeah, that it had a head, a chest plate, a, yeah, so you can have a whole uh, set, this has a whole set of armour. Which gives you diamond, uh, basically. <laughs> well, it's not, it actually looks pretty decent as a armour set as well, if this, if the, uh, that would be there. Looks a little bit silly, but still, you get jump boost, speed, night vision, and health boost. And it's as good as diamond. Uh, hold on. Give that P hell hell kit. Yeah, med kit, not health kit. Let's use this. There you go, healed up. Yeah, it is a pretty strong add-on and I could see why someone might not want to add it into their world because if you look, because it does kind of add the, like loot boxes and if you're lucky you can get some pretty strong gear out of it. But it's also a cool one, I don't really see it, bre it really breaking much. Except for like the Fortune 5 pickaxe manual is not even, or the protection, or the protect, what was it, protection 15, yeah, protection 15 never right boots. Like maybe that might be a little bit broken, but other than that, nothing super broken, and paying 5 loyalty, I think loyalty 5 is uh, impossible, but all that loyalty does is just increase the speed at which it comes back to you. So it's not super OP. Um Yeah. Uh but it's a pretty decent add-on. Can't remember how much it costs. There we go. Can't remember how much it costs, but it is decent. So, would I recommend this? Yeah, I could I could recommend it to somebody. Especially if you like, um, if you have like a map where, um, you know, like a Hunger Games map, like, or something like that, you could like, um, add these remotes uh, 
scatter bows and like random chests and then as like a like a bonus loot thing and then you can get some stuff out of it. I think that would be good for something like that. I think you could do something uh, thematic with it. Um But yeah. Hope you guys all did enjoy this uh video. Hope to see you guys in the next video and bye bye